Hi everybody, it's time for a new unboxing. It feels like it's been a while now. Uh, these, uh, again, might as well just tell you. Uh, these are the just done Air Force One High Air Force 100. Uh, the, the shoes that Don C made with Nike to celebrate the. Um, oh. To celebrate 35 years uh, of the Air Force One. Uh, the shoes sold out immediately, of course. But thanks to Retail Gang, I got my hands on a pair. Uh, and the retail was $200. I paid with shipping $275. More or less $275. So uh, that's okay. The shoes um, doesn't resell for that much higher now, actually. Uh, I don't know if people just don't like them. Uh, Don C's other uh, pairs that he did with Nike are the Air Force, uh, no, sorry, the Air Jordan 2. Um, I don't know what the color is called, but white, sort of, and blue and pink, and they go for a lot but these i don't know maybe 300 dollars or something uh, there were a couple of guys that made uh shoes to celebrate this uh it was one 35 years old um anniversary but i didn't like the other pairs at all uh there were low tops and uh who did the the one with the removable swoosh travis scott maybe they were but ugly but these, uh, because of the Don C always make, he make luxury version of uh, uh, existing model. So these I felt that I had to have. Uh, but while I have been waiting for them, and I've seen other reviews, um, I actually don't like them as much. Uh, I love the Air Force One, as you know, uh, high and. Uh, Triple white is a must. So a luxury version of a triple high, triple white high Air Force One uh, should be perfect for me. But this isn't just a Air Force One. It's a Air Force One, Air Force Two, Air Force Three hybrid. So what we have here, you see the silhouette is different from Air Force, Air Force One. Uh, there is uh, metallic. The, the heel that comes from Air Force 2 is uh, metallic white and it actually looks great. So I don't mind that part. Uh, this side is more or less an Air Force 1. The inside where we have uh, just half the swoosh, I don't like that. That's from Air Force 2. Uh, this um, extra reinforcement is from Air Force 3. Uh, the tongue where we have the big uh, force logo is also from the Air Force 3 but I have to say <laughs> I really like them now I can't complain about anything now as I said I've seen other videos and, and, I, and I didn't like this uh, hybrid uh, part of them I would much rather prefer uh, a full swoosh here and here. And as you can see, of course, it's not uh, real Python leather. Uh, it's just uh, the print. For otherwise, it would cost like five hundred dollars at least. But uh, we have the the bigger scales here, and on the inside, smaller scales, and same on the strap. Uh, it starts off with, oh, it's so soft. Smaller scale, bigger scale on the inside, so I think I will, uh, but I can't reverse these. No, I can't. But, oh, the inside was, um, oh. Too bad I can't reverse them, or can I? The, the inside have bigger scales, and I like that a lot more than the smaller scales. 
I'm not sure if I if I can reverse it and still use it. I see that people uh, remove them and use wear the shoes like this. I don't like that at all. If it was one high, you have to have this uh, removable strap. So triple white. Uh, the inside is uh, tan, Vegeta tan or what it's called, tan. Uh, the tongue is really thick, really thick, really soft. Let's see if we can remove the insole. No, it's stuck, but the inside is super soft. I'll uh, link some more videos and pictures of course in uh, in the description with my blog post actually i think these shoes are perfect the inside the tan inside with the triple white and uh, gold details we have gold here gold on the debris um, the lace lock uh, gold in the what is called lace holes this is also from the air force 3 the Air Force 3 actually had a bigger, it, it, they, they were higher, so they had like five holes, I think. And here we have three. Uh, the gold looks a lot better, better than uh, it usually does. The part on the um, strap were plastic crap. Uh, they could have made that in metallic. I would really prefer that, so that's too bad. But once again, the shoes are great. We have uh, on the lace lugs on the Dubray, it says just done. And uh, on the rear, we have tumble leather everywhere. We have just done instead of uh, Nike Air. So as you can see, um, as I said, Air Force 2, Air Force 2, Air Force 3, the tongue, Air Force 3, uh, sole, Air Force 1, the silhouette, Air Force 1, and uh, yeah, the rest of the shoes, the shoe is Air Force 1. And they smell like, smell good leather, premium leather. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's exotic leather, it's not python leather, uh, it's just a print, but I really like it. The tumble leather, and the whole shoe feels soft, even, um, you can see of course which parts are tumble leather. Tumble leather here, 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 but even, let me see again. Even the part that doesn't look like tumble leather is still really soft. I just hope they are true to size. Uh, Air Force One High is usually true to size, except from when there are uh, a special edition. I have had or I have several Air Force One High editions that are not true to size. But of course I will try them on. And I usually say that uh, Air Force One is a shoe that you can wear to anything, even with a suit. I've worn that several times. And if you want to dress up just a bit uh, with a nice uh, sweater and nice fitting jeans, you can wear Air Force One. Usually low or mid, but these with the luxury look, I'm going to wear this a lot. I use hope that they are soft. Uh, the sole, I don't know if I would prefer a lunar lawn sole. I think I would. Then we would have uh, the Air Force 107 uh, silhouette. The other one, you know how the other one looks. And we have Air Force 2, Air Force 3, and it would be great with a lunar lawn sole. Uh, but I really can't complain. These are amazing. While I was waiting on them, I was thinking that I can buy uh, the Pinnacle Air Jordan 1 now for more or less the same money. And I thought that I would, I should buy 
uh, a Pinnacle Air, Air Journal 1 instead of these, but now I really like these. And you can see better on this one that the swoosh uh, it looks like uh, the corners are cut right or it uh, threads off but I like it it feels more real like that so yeah for once I'm positive surprised uh, I thought I wasn't going to like them I bought them anyway because I wanted to uh, I, I like Air Force One High and I wanted to feel the material just because it's uh, a work from Don C but these are great what do you think? do you like them? what would you pay for them? do you think they are boring? too much? let me know the gold looks really good but if I can change this plastic to uh, metal gold, uh, I absolutely will do that. And I like that uh, this plastic part is uh, white metallic, more or less like uh, like my uh, Lexus. So I like them. Uh, I won't show you when I put them on because they will probably be used like an Air Force One but uh, I will continue with our on feet but don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up comments I like comments uh, press the bell if you want to go in the description and see the link to my blog post where I will post videos and uh, pictures of the shoes but subscribe share anything thanks Okay, the shoes are amazing. I love them. Uh, they may be run a bit big in size. Uh, I'm talking about maybe a half a size big. I wouldn't go down in size because I have wide feet, uh, but they're long. Uh, so they are a bit long. If you have narrow feet, um, and short feet for your size, I don't know what I'm talking about, then maybe you can, you can go down in size. But uh, they are a bit long, and I think it shows. Uh, the shoes look bigger than a standard Air Force One. Uh, but they are comfortable, uh, really comfortable. Not the most comfortable shoes there are, but this is still a 35 year old shoe. It's an Air Force One. Uh, the cushion is standard, but the insole does that. Uh, it helps. It helps a lot, and the the tongue helps a lot. The laces are way too long. I don't know why. See, ya. I don't uh, strap my shoes tight, but this is too much. Yeah, uh, they're not tight. But uh, the shoes are. Soft, they're comfortable, the smell great, they smell like great leather, they look good, they look luxury, um, and they are still clean. This is still a white Air Force One, and uh, of course, it's a, it's a good tribute with the whole thing, uh, whole Air Force two, 2 and 3 thing. I would prefer a standard Air Force One with the uh, Python leather details, but I really can't complain. The price, the retail price, I think was okay, and the two seventy five that I paid was maybe a bit much. Um, yeah, it was a bit much. Those seventy five dollars extra, but uh, thanks to retail gang, I got I got up here for myself, and uh, I'm gonna wear these a lot. I can't complain about anything. A bit long in size. Once again, a bit long, but uh, hey, I like them. Actually, they are more than a half a size long. Yeah, 
I don't know. You 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 won't be able to to try them on anyway, uh, except from maybe flight club. But uh, you can't go down half a size, maybe even a full size. But I have wide feet. I would try half a size lower, but US 12 is my size. I always go with US 12. Sometimes I need bigger, but I never go down. So US 12 or bigger. Uh, yeah, I like them. You don't. Yeah. I can't think of anything more. Super cool shoes. Discreet, luxury, tribute, uh, limited. Enough hyped to not be uh, disgusting hyped. Yeah. Thumbs up. Come on. Comment. Thank you.